To keep that feeling in New Orleans, Bum Phillips drafted Heisman Trophy winner George Rogers. The first player selected in the college draft, Rogers led the nation in rushing in his senior year and left the University of South Carolina as the fourth leading rusher in NCAA history. And Coach Phillips sees a lot of similarities between him and a running back named Earl Campbell. Comparing George Rogers and Earl Campbell is a little premature because Earl has already proved what he can do. But to compare their running styles, they're similar. Earl and George both are strong, big strong backs that get stronger as the ball game goes along. They're both the durable type back that you have to have in the NFL where you can give them, give them the football 25, 30, 35 times the ball game. Whatever it takes to win the ball game, that's the kind of backs both of them are. He's a great team man. He doesn't, he doesn't believe that George Rogers is going to save the football franchise. He believes George Rogers is going to do the best he can to help save it. On draft day, NFL Commissioner Pete Rozelle announced that George Rogers was New Orleans bound. And as the Saints sought more talent, Rogers made a promise. New Orleans chose me, and um, I'm, I'm sure going to give my best, and, and that's 100% every time I go out on the field. That thing of mine, I believe in that. I believe in people playing for other people. This foundation of friendship extended beyond the team to the loyal fans of New Orleans. They're living in joy of people. One of the outgoing newcomers was a rookie named George Rogers, who came to town under pressure and proceeded to make history. Rogers arrived in New Orleans as the Heisman Award winner and number one pick in the draft. Then more than lived up to his billing by gaining more yards than any other rookie runner in history and leading the entire NFL in rushing with 1,674 yards. Rodgers was both spectacular and consistent, starting all 16 games and averaging over 100 yards in each. Rodgers simply ran away from the Heisman curse as a star was born and Bum Phillips cornerstone for his foundation somewhere with it and in making a decision he's got about as quick a decision making in fact he's probably the quickest i've ever seen that i've ever had that at making his mind up what he's going to do and going and doing it he's got the same vision that all great backs have he can start somewhere and then he'll see daylight and he'll go get it Rogers was especially hard on Western Division rival Los Angeles. In two games against the Rams, number 38 scored four touchdowns and gained a phenomenal 323 yards rushing. In both games, George Rogers batted the ration. The offense ran true to four. George Rogers burned the Bengals for 113 yards. But this was more breaks. But this was a resilient, enthusiastic young team. A team that seemed to have the knack of making the most out of any situation. Building a house on the sixth floor, you start on the foundation. And that's what we did. We got a group of kids that are good kids. Kids that'll lay their life on the line for you and they'll go out and do the same job every day the way you want them to do it. You could also give the ball to the NFL's leading rusher of the previous season, all pro George Rogers. And in the season's opening week against St. Louis, that's just what he did. Rogers carried 11 times and averaged six yards per try. But then he was grounded by a pulled hamstring muscle. 
in his new his number 38 returned in top form as he blasted his way for 123 yards on a team record 33 carries and scored a touchdown. Age for an offense which again featured the power running of George Rudd. Unfortunately, after 97 yards rushing, Rodgers was forced out with a shoulder injury, and the running game was turned over to Wayne Will. The running game is all pro George Rodgers, who has a two-year rushing average of more than 100 yards per game. Losing George hurt us, but it didn't hurt us near as bad as we had the Jimmy Rogers and the Wayne Wilsons and the Hokie Gajons. And if we wouldn't have had those type of people, then we couldn't have played at all without George. But you take a George Rogers and put him in with those kind of people and you have great backs. You take him out, you still have good backs. Wayne Wilson had the gate, George Rogers. Still bothered by a shoulder injury, Rogers ripped the Cowboys for a team record 166 yards. The best single game rushing performance of the NFL season. Despite missing one third of the 82 season, Big George in two years has gained more than 2,200 yards and is already third on the Saints all time rushing list. The Saints began 1983 by running over the St. Louis Cardinals. Paced by George Rogers' 76-yard touchdown run and the passing of number eight turned the game over to the infantry. George Rogers flanked the Falcons. The offensive line dominated scrimmage while Gajon and George Rogers ran the Saints into a fourth quarter lead. 